This event took place uh, October 21st, 1978, uh, out of Melbourne, Australia. It achieved worldwide attention uh, here in America uh, as well. Uh, a young pilot uh, named Frederick Valentich was flying by himself in a rented Cessna 182 long-range model. He took off in the evening uh, en route over Bass Strait, which is uh, out over the ocean south of, of Australia, to go to King Island. He's going to land, uh, refuel, buy some crayfish, uh, which are a delicacy, and then come back with the crayfish uh, that night. Uh, why is he doing this? In order to uh, uh, earn more flight hours for a commercial license and uh, also instrument rating and so forth. Well, what happens is he gets approximately six minutes out over Bass Strait, which is now pitch dark, and he sees a very strange lighted object uh, ahead of him uh, that hovers above him that disappears instantaneously and then reappears in a new location, which is a long shape. He said, Melbourne, I've got a long shape. Uh, it's got a green light. Would you know what kind of aircraft I've got? Well, this radio tape, uh, which lasts 14 minutes, um, really constitutes all the evidence there is on this case. And uh, I've done an analysis of that voice tape and reconstructed the event and uh, uh, Frederick Valentich disappeared at the end uh, of this event, this evening, and has never been found. Uh, it's a very fascinating case um, because of all of the, uh, um, the challenges to understanding what might have happened at a distance, in this case in Australia, from here in America. The uh, search and rescue operation went into effect the next morning. He did not uh, arrive uh, on time, and so automatically the authorities set up a, a, an SAR, it's called, search and rescue operation. The uh, Royal Australian Air Force uh, got into uh, uh, gear and flew P-3 uh, search planes. His friends uh, at the air club mounted an effort and took off and flew crisscross patterns and so forth the next day, several days actually. They could find nothing. No wreckage has ever been found. Uh, the long-range model Cessna had flotation uh, tanks in the wings in various parts of the fuselage. So something should show up sooner or later on a beach. And the parts of the aircraft fuselage have serial numbers stamped into them. And so sooner or later, something should show up, but nothing ever did. The Maritime uh, Commission, or, or the, the organization, I should say, in Melbourne, issued a, um, a notice to ships at sea to be looking for wreckage at all, and oil slicks on the water. Nothing was ever found. The uh, continental shelf at this point, uh, I don't remember the exact depth, but it's fairly shallow. And, of course, it is um, uh, mapped very precisely for naval reasons. Uh, I don't believe any uh, detailed underwater uh, search was done. I don't believe so. Um, the case is very interesting from the standpoint that here's a young man who had a wonderful career ahead. He was bright, hardworking, honest as far as we can tell. Um, he had everything to lose by making up a story like this.